Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my series of what's on my crafty tables. <laughs> well, I've got kind of a hot mess going on again. Um, I don't remember honestly if I had showed you what I had done with my scrap table. Um, this is all of the smaller scraps. Then I have a couple of containers. Excuse the piece of wood. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, I've got some containers where there are strips. Um, where I try to keep them all in one place. And then these are like loose book pages or things that people have given me. Or um, scrapbook paper that I've cut into. And I have to tell you, having it stand up like this has been wonderful i cannot begin to tell you how much easier it is now to go in and get something and just simply flip through to find the color or the little piece that you want in there somewhere right there is a ba um a little basket of like giblets little pieces torn pieces whatever so everything is really organized so much better and contained the next thing i'm not sure also i don't remember if i told you or not but the company that i used to work for is also closing down their design department so the design team has to clear out their sample room so they have been giving me all of their samples well, here is just a sampling of the wood. Let's see if I can do this without making everyone seasick. Um, see, this is just a small piece of wood. It usually comes on a ring or a ball chain. And let's see if I can do this one-handed, lift this up out of here. Then this is some more, and I've organized these by style. And let's see here if I can pull something out and show you. Um, I know people are saying, well, what in the world? Well, that's just it. I don't always know what in the world. But I have done some cute little signs. It already has a hole on one side. So I'll put a hole on the other side. And I'll run wire from each side and make a little sign of something. Um, I've given them to a lot of different friends. So let's go around here. Um, let's see here. That's just something that I purchased yesterday in a box that I saved. They also were giving me glass tile. And, let's excuse me. And I've got some small, I don't want to put my hand in there because I'm using my iPad right now. Um, because it'll get wet. But I've got some smaller glass tiles soaking in there to get the paper off the back of them. And they will make beautiful, like, um, foundation in a tray or the uh, top of a box or whatever. And I have sold many of those. Um, I've did some crosses before and they're a big hit as well. Um, this is just, I've had a little catastrophe where I had this magnetic board up and since I've been organizing, I didn't want to use, I mean, I didn't want to use these little containers anymore on my uh, Rasco cart. So I um, thought maybe I'd just put my little sugars and things like that for the kitchen for coffee and stuff in them and hang them up so I kind of got to start over on that one and then this is just a few things that I've purchased and then just some different kinds of papers that came from the um, design team and here again I've done some organizing again this is you know molding and stuff and then this is this one came as a kit and as you can see different kinds of shapes and stuff and and I'll figure something out for some of it um, these I've used a lot they're like slats for wooden blinds and those I've made a lot of signs out of and then this is just some miscellaneous pieces that I kind of got to find a home for and then this is another um, box but what you don't see and I should have taken it when it was really a mess what you're not seeing is I've taken it all off of the rings or the ball chains and when you get it and it just kind of plops down I could not get everything in these two wooden crates and then that um, box on the floor that I showed you they would not fit 
And now, for the most part, because I've organized it and put it by style and everything, everything is fitting in those three containers. Um, so I, that's one of my organizing tips that I would give you is to rethink how things are stored. And this also now I can reach in and grab and run. And I was going to see here real quick. Yeah, there are some moldings in here that, um, I mean, that is really cute and it would sit flat. And last year I had taken ones like that and put one of those little wire picks in it that you could put a photo on. And um, that's how I put everybody's names on the craft tables. And then look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. You know, and yeah, you need to, you know, paint the ends or do something. But it's fun little things to play with. And for the most part, there's usually not any two alike because they are samples. And then they gave me uh, another wallpaper, well, two more wallpaper books. So I've taken those apart. And then, even though I've been in my studio for a year now, I still found some cardstock in the spare bedroom closet. So that's kind of been my next task, is to go through that closet and get everything crafty out of there and into here. So that I've been working on as well. And let's see here on my video table, where I video... Um, this is a journal that I need to do a nameplate for, book plate for. These are, I think, hardy board. These are samples. Um, they're really hard and really tough. So I was thinking if maybe I could use them somehow on that book um, as the book plate. And then that's the man's journal that I'm working on. Don't have it finished yet, but won't be long, hopefully. And I was thinking about doing a leather edging to it. And then this has been out for a little while. I still have a few things I want to do to it. But let me see if I can do this again without making you sick. It's vinyl flooring. So that's what I say as far as, you know, don't think of it as what it is, but think of it as what you can do with it. And then these are some samples that I pulled out that um, I have a plan for. So I've got my little stacks of different, you know, pieces and everything that uh, that I want to do. And I guess that's that's for probably for the most part what's on my tables. This is something they gave me. Um, it kind of feels like paper, kind of feels like cloth. And then I found another little stack of half sheets of um, cardstock in that closet as well. I guess one other thing I would show you is um, some more samples that I have not put away yet. Not sure what I'm going to do with those corners. They're like frame samples. And then this is a bunch of vinyl flooring. And there is some wood flooring in there as well. So I need to yet organize that. And I've got some under the um, rolling cart in my kitchen that I'd already put up before I got this. So that's probably going to be the next thing that I pull out and get organized and find a place to tuck it in. And speaking of tucking in, let me show you here. Even behind my little bookcase, I am tucking things. They gave me this poster board that has these grommets on it, and it is nice stuff. So I was thinking that perhaps I could cut it up and use it for journal covers. Or maybe I could make some kind of sign on it to hang up. And it just keeps wanting to fall out there. But, um, yep, yeah, see? So anyhow... But that's what's on my crafty tables and what I've been up to. And I know it's nothing beautiful necessarily to show you. But we all know we probably spend as much time organizing as we do crafting. And I am definitely no exception to that. And uh, it is fun, however, I will say that when you can sit down and you need something and you can walk right over to where it is and put your hands on it. And so far, in the last couple of months, that I have been able to do, and it has been so rewarding. So with that being said, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it, and give me that thumbs up. And remember, I put out a video every Tuesday evening, Eastern Time, at 6 p.m. I also have a small Etsy shop. Not a whole lot in it, but you never know. It might be something for you. And I'm also on Instagram. I have a Facebook group. And 
I don't mind. Come on by and give me a friend request. And I'm on Pinterest and I am also on Instagram and Twitter. So I appreciate your time at watching my video and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.